guys. So you all know how I get a little bit obsessed with TV shows. So I recently started watching this show called Breaking Bad. Notice it? Yeah, it's from True Blood. Case in point. Well, it just happened again. But this isn't just any TV show. No, 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 no. This is the most epic TV show of all time. I'm talking about Game of Thrones. Huh? Huh? Yeah? Anyone? Just me? No? Yeah? Yes, I do become obsessed with things quite easily, and when I do, it pretty much just consumes my life. That's all I do. I don't know why, but I'm like an all or nothing type of person. All or nothing. Hence the reason why I've now moved on to the entire book set. <laughs> no, TV show is not enough. I must read the books, because it's actually based on the book series. See, there's actually five novels in the set, and I bought the four box set, and you can see there's actually one missing. That's my sister. <laughs> kind of got my sister hook now, too. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I am a TV show novel fantasy pusher. That is who I am. I get people addicted. And I got my best friend addicted, too. I am so bad. I'm going to get you guys hooked. You guys are going to get addicted because of me. And I apologize. I apologize because you know what? You're never going to get your life back. Once you start, you're never going to get it back. But it'll be worth it. I promise you. It's totally worth it. So now the fourth book of the series, four or five, one more to go, and uh, guys, I have never been this excited about novels before. This thing, this book, is the most exciting thing in my entire life right now. And I've read a lot of fantasy novels. I got a pretty good collection going on. Narnia, Harry Potter, his dark materials, huh? It's actually three books in one. Lord of the Rings, and The Hobbit. This was like my fantasy novel gateway drug. This is where it all began. And now they're making it into two movies. Two, not one, but two. Oh, oh, oh my god. Yes, I did get to see The Hobbit set when I was down in New Zealand traveling, and I've been following along the production diaries, of course. <laughs> Plus I got a whole bunch of others that you're probably not gonna recognize. Yes, this is my life right now. I eep, sleep, eep, eep, what the heck is eep? This is what I do all night, all day. Friday night, Saturday night, who cares? Who needs friends? Who needs friends when you can make up imaginary worlds in your head? Well, you're not really making them up, you're just kind of reading someone else's imaginary world in your head. But who needs friends when you have books? Yes, and to add to the Nadine's a really cool person reputation, I um, I was one of the characters for Halloween. <gasps> Daenerys Targaryen. I made my own costume too. All by hand all by hand. I would not lie to you. Took over a week to do. I have two making of videos. All of it on my website. Seriously. And I promise you this, that is not the last you're gonna see of my cosplay costumes from Game of Thrones. Mm, I've got big plans. I've got big plans for my next one. Now that I've got my wonderful birthday gift, this is what I got. <laughs> so... <laughs> I got a sign machine. See? Isn't it wonderful? I'm gonna make so many costumes now. Look, look, handpicked by Martha. Quite simply what every 24 year old wants from their parents. <gasps> oh, just you wait, just you wait. Epic, epic awesomeness is going to come. <laughs> this is freaking heavy. <laughs> what am I doing? I have a novel to read, oh dear. Frustrated because we're gonna be doing some tango dancing. Yes, I'm gonna learn how to tango, and I'm very, very excited about it. 